moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. Wow, <laughs> this is just magic sometimes, like the universe, what it brings you, right? So today is Mother's Day, and this energy I want to bring for you onto this episode of the Moving to Oneness podcast. So feel welcomed. I'm Mylene Elke, your host. Yes, I've been now a mom for 14 plus years. And I love every moment of it. I may be spoiled. I have a rather special <laughs> connection with my son. Since the moment he was a spark in my body, he feels me sometimes way before me <laughs> and always has a way of making me smile when I'm sad the last. And even today, tears ran down my cheek and maybe down your cheek as well. Of what a magical man he has become. And on what fascinating journey he is on. <laughs> and the funny thing is, the one that really brought me to tears was a memory when we brought our cat Puccini home, which you hear sometimes on the episodes, right? <laughs> meowing and bringing his energy into the podcast. I had put him in the bathroom, in his cage. That was the transportation cage, right? And Tilo was not even one year old, had already a little accident, was not, you know, crawling from room to room with his casket on his right hand. And he made sure he opened right away that door of that transportation cage <laughs> and invited Puccini to come out. And that memory today, oof, that touched me so deeply because this relationship between those two is still so strong. Those two young beings connected in a split second understood each other and were there for each other. And you know, normally the first few hours I leave a cat in the in the bathroom so he can get used to where to go when he needs to go to the restroom, right? But th that was different. Puccini came out, followed Tilo back to the bed. Tilo climbed. I mean, I had a very low bed pulled himself up to that bed and then they cuddled. And then later I just cuddled with them and we all fell asleep. So Puccini came right into a home where I could feel the pulse of his new friend because he had missed the pulse of his mother, the heartbeat of his mother. And I was there to give both my mother lead love. So my love goes to out to all of you moms. There's some in friends of mine, they're now pregnant. So there is this joyfulness and excitement at what is what's gonna come happen. You know, they're noticing their body is changing. That was pure magic as well the moms with young children enjoy every moment every moment every second my heart goes out to the moms that are maybe now alone because the dull child is far away and they can't see each other today 
You may have gotten a call with love or a postcard with love or an email with love. Some flowers with love, a gift with love to bring those memories that I had today all day to you. And then there are some moms, you have lost your child. Went in two other realms before you did. That is not easy. And I embrace you with my love and feel loved. I feel how courageous you are. I feel your grief. And do feel embraced by all mothers. Because what is so beautiful about Mother's Day? In a way, we all also connect to each other. <laughs> you think this is so beautiful. The most messages I get from other moms, from other mothers, from around the world, cheering each other on. Doesn't matter what age, what culture. And I love that. There's a connection. And there's a really interesting tone. As you know, I, I tone and there's going to come sounds for you, for all of you to feel embraced, to feel the thankfulness that is coming from all, from Mother Earth to you. There is this tone, ma, or syllable, M-A, And I have it in Mama, in Germany. You have it in French, Maman. Mom, in English. The list goes on. There are many more languages. But this tone makes a child feel comfortable the moment they say it, because they know there's someone there for them. To feel the safety And my wish is that you feel safe, that you can feel this safety to unfold who you are. If you have carried the burden of loss, remember the moments you provided someone through you being there, the safety to unfold fully. And where you had that ability. There's some moms of you, <laughs> or you as a mom, that uh, maybe you didn't have a mother you wished for, lost her early, but you made sure that your child has what you didn't have, that you were there for your child. Maybe you barely had time to be there for your child. You had to work a lot gave your best. Maybe your child got a little angry. I remember that, right? especially in the teenage years, right? A lot of daughters ah! <laughs> scream, react, digest, whatever they need to digest what's going on in the world, what's happening within their body. And who do we send it against? Our own mothers. We blame them. I blamed her. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I can see it uh, in the friends of my son, you know, some mother's-daughter relationships. A little different, it's a little bit more rubbing. <laughs> But that makes beautiful young women go out into the world and do their thing, right? Maybe you're a mom sitting now in an elderly home. Forgotten. Are you really forgotten? For sure there will be a single moment coming of thought coming to you, an energy, stup, quick like that. So you're not forgotten. Anything you did, there's a memory of it. 
anything beautiful you did, created something brand new. This is never forgotten. So you're not forgotten. So do know that. Wow, this show is going more in the melancholy uh, direction. But it is important that we see all these facets of motherhood. I remember the stories of my mother, right? The mothers that escaped with their children, took on difficulties, held through a lot of abuse for their children. I cherish all of this. The strengths, not the action, the strengths of you, the mother. Carrying that, often probably silent. Maybe that reminds all of us also to share our stories with others, to build communities of mothers. That we can be good mothers. And I think that is often missing a little bit, especially now, right? Also the young girls when we become women is there an opportunity for many to speak with their mothers of what is happening in their body be observant in your community and where you maybe can help to open up that conversation so that girls don't have to shy away or feel ashamed to what is happening with their body So I invite all of us to bring back a celebration. A little stronger than I had to think about it. It's a funny. So today is Sunday and in Germany on Thursday then there's Father's Day. And I had to think about it. What kind of celebration are we still celebrating? So on Mother's Day here, the mother gets spoiled. You get cake, you get good food, maybe a little present the little ones create for you or the older ones and pick some flowers outside or they buy a bouquet or the father brings a bouquet if he's still around. Yeah, but on Father's Day, I had to think about it today. Here they go, all the guys out and go and drink something. Or they celebrate amongst each other. I said, Where's the celebration with the father? That's more like men's day. So are we missing a woman's day? And should we also celebrate a men's day where really men can be men and celebrate that? And we women can celebrate being women. We have a woman's day on March 8th. But is it really a celebration where we moms or women, sorry, come together and mingle? Do things together. Instead of listening to lectures. Do we really do something fun? Do we go dancing? Do we go uh, a cook together? Do we go travel a day together? Right? I would love to feel that. Do we lift each other up? Do we celebrate each other? And maybe also that this should be more now for moms. And maybe you experience that and then wonderful. But maybe that's something also to implement a little bit more into this world. I'm going to try to. Yeah, so the Mother's Day, I thought, still feels a little muffled from, you know, was it created in the 60s? Or, you know, and I thought, ah, I'm like a picture perfect advertisement. And I had to laugh about it because there was for a moment the radio going on and the tone was like an advertisement and then we're sitting there getting ready for dinner, uh, lunch. And I said, wow, I had to laugh about it. So are we celebrating each, our Mother's Day more as a commercial? Uh, why are so many savings being sent around on the internet, Mother's Day? So it's more commercial. I would love that feeling of embrace. I miss a little bit. And I don't know what you miss, but I miss the embrace. And in other cultures, I know there the females, they stick much more together. I have a friend, she is a Sasa a, a culture out of uh, Turkey, very, very ancient culture. The women, they hug, they ki- there is a closeness 
uh, as Germans, we don't have it. I lived in America. I don't think there was much. Unless you came out of a family where I had a friend, they were all women. I mean, <laughs> sisters and sisters and sisters, of all generations. It was a whole different atmosphere. I didn't have that. Yeah, so I, I would like to invite that back into the world, the celebration. A deeper level, a little deeper, a little more open, a little more encumbrancing. So next year I'm going to try to create some, invite also other mothers and do something together with our families, jointly with families. That is something I intend as well. And also I will invite the fathers to be more cherished as fathers. And they can celebrate and that we spoil them on Father's Day. Yeah? Ah, this is an unending topic, I know. And I'm very thankful that you listen to me and I can share these thoughts that are coming through me on this beautifully sunny day. And it's warm. It's been cool. Yesterday there was still ice on the car in the morning. And in two days there's going to come a cold front again, a lot of rain. But for now, this is a blessing. And I see it as a blessing. And I bless you. I embrace you, I kiss you, I hug you, dear mom. And I hold you tight. <laughs> and I'm here for you. Mother Earth, it's not called for in every culture Mother Earth, but it's often used, this embrace, feel embraced by nature, by all other beings, your friends, right? Feel that love. And we can mother many people. Also, if you're not a mom, you couldn't have a child. Who else can you mother? An animal, plants. They all need that embrace of true love, of this caring, this embrace, this warmth, feeling the pulse, the rhythm of your heart, feeling the pulse of your, you know, it's the blood flows through your body. So important. Or maybe you have a big community and there spread your love. Right? Mother Teresa comes to me. Big community. She put a lot of smiles on people. <laughs> you do that too. So smile at everyone you'll see tomorrow or today and send them a, a motherly smile. And it's every day we should do that. In any relationship. Bring out more of you, I bring out more of me and together we bring more warmth out to each other. Ah, that's a beautiful feeling. This is a beautiful vision. It's happening already. I can feel it. I go fast, right when we set intention. So for you is a song of motherly love coming from me through me, from many beings, to you. Mama, 
mo ma ma ni uno ba ma na na la ma mo mo ma ma na la la ma mo mo ma ma na na la ma mo mo ma ma la 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 ma mo mo ma ma la 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 ma mo mo ma na na la 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 ma wa 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 Mama wa 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 ya 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 mo 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 wa ya 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 wa 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 ya wa 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 mama wa wa ya 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 mo 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 wa mo 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 wa wa ya mo 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 ya wa mo 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 wa wa ya 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 mo mo wa wa ya wa mo 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 wa ya wa wa mo 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 Ma 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 we ya ma 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 we ya wa wa ma 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 me ya wa 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 Ma 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 wa we ya ma 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 wa we ya 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 wa ma 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 wa 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 ma ma ya ma 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 yo ma 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 wa wa ma ma me 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 ma wa ya ne 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 ma 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 While I was chanting this for you and singing this for you, <laughs> I was surprised of the movement of my lips. How many ma mo me <laughs> syllabus came out just for you? So wherever you are, what ever you say for mother, feel embraced. By all beings, nature and a beautiful being, a blue planet, your child, your children, and future children. I love you. I kiss you. I hug you. This is Mylene. Your host of the Moving to Oneness show. 
enjoy the vibration of it.